Amy Merloff's new business opening. From reality TV star to businesswoman, Amy Roloff of Little People, Big World is adding yet another chapter to her remarkable life. Welcome back to the channel where we dive into the stories that matter. Today, we're exploring the exciting new business venture of Amy Roloff, a beloved figure who has inspired millions. You've seen her on TV, but now she's stepping into a new role. And we can't wait to show you all the details. So, what is this new business and why is it so special? Stay tuned. Amy Roloff has been a household name for over 15 years. Starring in TLC's Little People, Big World, she has shared her life with viewers across the globe from her ups and downs on the family farm to raising her children and navigating life with dwarfism. But Amy's story goes far beyond reality TV. Over the years, she has become an author, public speaker, philanthropist, and now a business owner. I never imagined that my life would unfold the way it has. Theme on little people, big world opened up so many doors, and now I'm ready to explore something new. It's about time I do something that's just mine, and I'm really excited about it. So what exactly is Amy's new business? Drum roll, please, Amy Roloff has officially opened her own online shop and bakery, Amy Roloff's Little Kitchen. This new venture combines Amy's passion for cooking and baking, which we've seen glimpses of over the years. She's now turning that passion into a full-fledged business, selling a variety of homemade treats and goodies, as well as some unique merchandise inspired by her life and journey. Amy's Little Kitchen offers an array of delicious homemade baked goods, from her famous chocolate chip cookies to seasonal pies and jams. For those who have followed her for years, it's no surprise Amy has always had a passion for cooking, often sharing her favorite recipes with fans on social media and in her cookbooks. I've always loved being in the kitchen. There's something special about sharing food with the people you love. And that's what I want to do through this business. I'm not just selling products, I'm sharing a piece of me with all of you. So, what inspired Amy to take this leap into entrepreneurship? Amy has always been about family and community, and that's a huge part of why she decided to open Amy Roloff's Little Kitchen. She wanted to create something that brings people together, something personal, warm, and heartfelt. My parents and grandparents were a huge inspiration for me. I grew up in the kitchen, watching them cook and bake for family gatherings. Those moments were so important to me, and I want to bring that same feeling into my new business. It's not just about the food, it's about the love and care that goes into it. Amy's connection to her family is at the heart of this new venture. Her passion for baking comes from those early experiences, and now she wants to share that same joy with her customers. It's not just a bakery, it's a way for her to keep her family traditions alive while creating something new and exciting. So what makes Amy Roloff's Lil Kitchen stand out in the world of baked goods? One word, authenticity. Everything Amy does is personal. From the recipes, many of which are family secrets, to the customer service, Amy is involved in every step of the process. You're not just buying a cookie or a pie, you're buying something handmade with love by someone who truly cares. Amy's loyal fan base has been a huge part of her success, and she's making sure that this business reflects the same values she's shared on Little People. Big world family, authenticity, and connection. Every item in her shop has a story behind it. Whether it's a recipe passed down through generations or a product inspired by her life on the farm, Starting a business isn't easy, and Amy has faced her share of challenges. Balancing her personal life, public persona, and business endeavors has been no small feat. But if there's one thing we know about Amy Roloff, it's that she's a fighter. Starting this business has been a huge learning curve for me. There have been so many ups and downs, but I'm really proud of what we're building. It's not just about success, it's about doing something I love and sharing that with others. Like any entrepreneur, Amy has had to navigate the complexities of running a business. From managing inventory to creating an online presence, she's wearing many hats. But Amy's passion and determination keep her going. 
She's built a strong team around her to help bring her vision to life. But she's still hands-on with every aspect of the business. Amy's fans have been incredibly supportive of her new venture. Many have followed her journey from the very beginning and are thrilled to see her take on this new challenge. Let's hear from some of the fans who've already tried Amy's products. I've been watching Little People, Big World for years, and I just love Amy. When I heard she was opening her own bakery, I had to try it. Her cookies are just as amazing as I imagined. Amy has always been such an inspiration to me. Seeing her start her own business just proves that it's never too late to follow your passion. So, what's next for Amy Roloff? As her business grows, Amy has plans to expand her product line, offering even more delicious treats and maybe even opening a physical storefront down the line. The future looks bright for Amy Roloff's little kitchen. Amy is always thinking of new ways to connect with her fans and customers. From seasonal products to exclusive items you won't find anywhere else, she's committed to growing her brand while staying true to the values that made her a household name. Little people, big world. Amy and Karen's meeting turns awkward as two strong personalities clash. Little people, big world. Is Chris Murick obsessed with Matt? According to a new teaser clip, Amy Roloff of Little People, Big World is still organizing her next fundraiser and is becoming obvious that her and Karen Chandler's personalities don't get along. After the Roloff family's reality show was taken off the air for more than a year, Little People, Big World season 25 debuted in February. The ex-partners are still involved in one other's life even though Amy and Matt Roloff are no longer together and are now committed to Chris Merrick and Karen, respectively. Amy has recently been preparing for a fundraising on Little People, Big World. The strong personalities of Amy Roloff and Karen Chandler from Little People, Big World are evident in their efforts to organize Amy's fundraising. News released a preview clip from the next episode of Little People, Big World Season 25, in which Chris notices that Amy and Karen have really strong personalities. As the clip begins though, Amy, Chris, Matt and Karen are sitting outside continuing to plan for Amy's fundraiser. Amy is asked by Karen to compile an itinerary and any other pertinent information that everyone should be aware of. In response, Amy says, I will work on that. Following Karen's conclusion, the cameras continue to focus on the two of them as they awkwardly and silently stare at one another. Karen wonders in a confessional if she will truly see Amy's schedule. She admits, I've got a 50-50 shot, but she doesn't think a real schedule would materialize if she were to place a wager on it. This makes Matt giggle. She states, it is what it is. Karen continues by saying that while her nature is to plan events, she will struggle with the next steps of this process if the event is being planned haphazardly. Her best attempt, though, is to make the extra effort to just let it go. She is aware that she and Amy have a personality conflict, which could force her to lose her mind on the day of the fundraiser. Matt and Karen leave as the little people. Big world preview clip goes on, leading Amy and Chris to play with their dog and go on a stroll. Amy then astonishingly admits that she believes the planning process for the fundraiser is going well. There is always a potential, she says, that there will be a number of hiccups that could make this very chaotic. According to Chris, there are few strong personalities working here that could go in either direction. Amy concurs, but she doesn't appear to understand that Chris is probably referring to both her and Karen. It's unclear how long until little people Big World finally airs Amy's fundraising event. It seems like the planning process has been going on for a while now. Along the way, Amy has been stepping up to ensure everything is being done her way. After all, it's her event, so her opinion matters very much. Having said that, in a previous episode, her leadership style was compared to that of a dictator. It's possible that Amy and Karen could really clash as the event draws closer but time will tell if they can pull off the event without a hitch. No more today. What are you thinking about this gossip today? Let us know in the comments and stay tuned by subscribing to our channel to get more updates like this. Thank you.